how's it guys all right so in the last video we were working on um the transfer um transaction type um uh, within our application so currently we are able to deposit money within to an account and then we are also able to transfer uh, uh, amounts between two uh, uh, uh two accounts and so forth so now we're going to work on the withdrawal um the payment we will work on that last because there's a couple of things that need to be set up there but um, I think the withdrawal one should be a little bit easier now again I know that withdrawals you would usually do this within an ATM or something I know late, lately the bank the, the banks that you get to they um, there's ways in which you can withdraw an amount um, like maybe to a cell phone or something like that a cell phone number or something like that and then you would go to an ATM and then use that particular cell phone number and whatever pin you got to withdraw the amount but again like i said we're just having fun here so we'll just pretend like we are actually withdrawing um, um what you call it withdrawing um an, uh, an amount from an account so um first things first within the uh let's close the deposit and transfer so um first things first is to uh, go within the withdrawal form all right so again we're going to take remember we are withdrawing from a specific account so we need to take the what where we are looping through the accounts here because the withdrawal form also has um an option to uh select an account so uh the withdrawal amount can stay the same that's no issue the submit button can stay the same as well all right so now let's cut that out and paste what we copied over from the transfer form so here you can say with um you can leave this as account id right because in any case we are using the account id to uh, perform the transaction so um, that's the only thing we need to change within the withdrawal form so in here uh, we're going to say the same thing is going to be transact and then here we'll say with draw right and then the method is going to be post again method okay and then what else so this is the withdrawal amount okay then this is the account we are getting from and then here would be the submit button so hopefully i didn't do any mistakes within this particular form uh, it doesn't look like it so all right so now let's create the withdrawal um what you call it uh, post method so here we'll say post mapping and then we said withdraw correct you know what let me copy because I know we might be making mistakes mistakes and we might not even see it so let me just do that withdraw and then I'm gonna also copy this request make happy make sure that i got it right here as well so that should settle it okay so now let's create our method so here we'll say uh, public uh, string and then we're gonna say withdraw all right now let's return an empty string for now Okay, so here we need the withdrawal amount so we're going to say request uh, param and then we're going to come back within the withdrawal form and then we're going to say withdrawal amount and then paste it within here and then this is going to be string uh, withdrawal uh, amount okay the next parameter is going to be account id the the account that we are withdrawing from so let's take that and say account id paste it within here then we're going to say string account id you know uh, same thing here we're going to say http session session and then the redirect attribute okay i think that's pretty much it 
all right so again you're gonna do some checks here you're gonna say check for empty uh, values right and then here we'll say to do convert uh, variables right and then we're gonna say to do check for um, zero values okay what else yeah i think that's pretty much it okay so now the first it's if statement is going to be if uh, if um withdrawal amount uh, dot is empty or the account id dot is empty so remember a user can still um a user can still leave this as is and then not uh and not and click withdraw uh, without even even if they put an amount here they might still do the exact same thing so that's why we also have to check for that All right so let's copy the, the error message up here All right and then we can say Should have set these error messages at the top as well but in any case let's leave it all right so error message will be um what is it withdrawal amount and um account uh, withdrawing from cannot um cannot be empty okay withdrawal amount and account withdrawing from cannot be empty right and then it will flash that message over there otherwise if everything is okay we can then convert those uh, items so we're gonna say uh, double we're gonna say withdraw uh, withdrawal uh, okay I'll just make an underscore here and say withdrawal amount yeah I'll just say withdrawal amount equals to uh, double dot pass pass double and then we're gonna say withdraw withdrawal amount so this variable is this one over here All right and then we're gonna say int account id will equal to integer dot pass int and then we're gonna say account id right okay so we converted those values uh, the other check we need to do here and see is if if um, withdrawal amount uh, equals to zero uh, we're going to flash another message here this is doing um okay so um you can actually take um you can say copy that um string that we set up there we can say withdrawal withdrawal amount cannot be off zero value please enter a value greater than zero 
so it can be plus minus the same and then we will flash that message over there once um, if that's the case so withdrawal amount cannot be of zero value uh, please enter a value greater than zero okay um, what else so we got that so now we come to uh, here we're gonna get uh, get uh, logged in user All right and then we're gonna say user equals to that user object stored within the session right and then we're gonna say session dot get attribute and then we're gonna say user right okay and then what else do we need we need to get the current balance to do right so we're gonna say um, current balance remember we set that value there at the top so now we can reuse it again here so current balance will be account repository dot get account balance right we're gonna insert the um, the user right the account that belongs to this user and then we're gonna get the account ID which is what we set up there um, which is the value that we converted just here right and here um, it's gonna be simple as well we're gonna say uh, set new balance right so remember um, we have new balance set up at the top so we're gonna say new balance will equal to um, the current balance minus the withdrawal amount which is the amount that we set here um, um, that we are converting here right that's the new balance and then, then now we just have to um, Um, uh, update account balance so this is pretty much simple remember we're just deducting a certain amount from that account so that's all we need to do so again we're gonna say account repository no sorry account repository dot change account by ID and then we're gonna get the ID or the balance is gonna be new balance and then the ID of the account is going to be the one we converted uh, here at the top, right? And that should be it. And here we can take that, uh, replace this. And then here we're going to say success, success message, uh, success message, and then withdrawal successful uh, that's all we need okay so um, yeah that's pretty much it um, the withdrawal is pretty much simple we're just uh, deducting a certain amount from one account uh, currently this is the balance it's 1.2 for this one uh, Sam's bakery and then 1.6 for Sam's coffee shop so after this there's nothing else that we need to do so all right so let's test out hopefully if we did everything correctly this time um, um, we should be able to withdraw with no issues all right so let's let the app deploy and then we'll test it once it's back up all right guys so the server is up no errors within the console okay let's sign out So here we're going to say Sam. Okay, so let's transact. First thing we need to check is do the accounts display? Yes, they do. All right, so <clears throat> let's check for the error. So withdraw. Okay, withdrawal amount and account withdrawing from cannot be empty. Okay, that's fine. That's checking. Um, the other one is zero uh, 
percent accurate let's see withdrawal amount cannot be of zero value okay so <clears throat> that check is also working so let's see what's the other one uh, uh there's nothing else i think that's the only two uh checks that we needed to do so <clears throat> so now we have 1.2 here and then we have 1.6 here so let's withdraw about 300 bucks from this one and see if it works so withdraw say 300 bucks from sam's coffee shop withdrawal amount successful okay so i forgot to change <laughs> i forgot to change that one but it was successful if you check we don't we have one 300 bucks less and then as you can see here it went from 2.8 to 2.5 so like at least we were able to set up the withdrawal function without any issues within this video like unlike the other ones so but let me change this it needs to be success um before i forget no sorry that's the wrong one it's the one down here all right all right so at least now when we withdraw it will show the correct color for the notification <coughs> All right, so yeah, that's basically it for the withdrawal, um, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, transaction. All right, guys, so yeah, that's it for the withdrawal uh, function. So at least in this video, we didn't encounter that many issues, unlike the other videos. So yeah, in any case, uh, again, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys within the next video. Cheers for now.